Hi, I'm Karen from Lice Doctors. My partner, Wendy, is on vacation. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that, uh, whose answer may be a surprise to you, and that is, do head lice prefer clean hair or dirty hair? Now, you may be thinking, well, dirty people get lice. That is actually the opposite of the truth. The truth is that head lice prefer clean hair. Why is that? Because if your hair is greasy, if your hair is oily, the bug is going to have a hard time having its little claws grab hold of your hair and make its way up to the top of your scalp to feed on the blood in your scalp. Remember, lice are parasites. So they need to feed multiple times a day on blood. If they cannot get up to your scalp and they slide down your hair, they're gonna get frustrated and have to go someplace else. So if your hair is very clean, then the lice will move from one head to your hair and get a firm grip on a strand of hair and shimmy its way right up to the top of your head where it will have a feast on the blood in your scalp. So the stigma that is associated with head lice is completely unfounded, should not exist. And just realize that head lice is really a sign that your child is social, because how do you get head lice? You get head lice from interacting with other children or other people, because when heads are close together, the head lice move from one head to another. It's very unlikely that you're gonna get head lice from a backpack or a comb, because head lice do not like to leave the comfort and food uh, that they derive from your, from your scalp um, to go on to an inanimate object where there's no food and the temperature isn't optimal. So they will go from one head to another, and as long as your hair is accessible, meaning you know hanging down and clean, it will be easier for the louse to get to the hair. If the hair is dirty, and ideally pulled up so that it's either short or it's pulled up like this so that it's difficult for the louse to find, you're, less, you're gonna be less likely to be a candidate for head lice. So that's our video for today. We hope that's been helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.